What is going on guys, Gun Trails, I'm Jimmy, back again with another video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe on the channel and this video. Today, guys, I am going to be going to, uh, put my seatbelt on, the gun store and seeing what type of guns uh, mass allows and why. All right, so stay tuned. And to show you guys my appreciation real quick, um, stay tuned to the end of the video because I will be doing a couple shout outs um, just for my new subscribers because you know I just enjoy you guys in the comment section, enjoy you guys engaging and watching these videos. Um, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned at the end. So I'm driving to the gun shop now. Um, there's there's one uh, in my town. Um, it's it's about like 10 minutes away from where I live. But I wanted to take the drive out. Um, the ride is gonna be at least 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. Um, but before before I head into the shop, I want to talk to you guys. Um, and my bad if I can't give you guys my full attention. But as long as you listen, as long as you listen, you'll be uh, you'll be just fine. All right. So this is. Uh, this video is, is obviously not going to be uh, about your state because I'm not sure what state you live in. This is contingent on what state, obviously, you live in. So, um, with gun laws in general, I want to speak in general term, in general aspect, actually. If you if you have an LTC, right? If you have a license to carry, uh, you know, and, and, you, and you're carrying every day, there's certain guidelines that we have to follow here in the good old U the U.S. states of America, right? So, and me being in Massachusetts, my luck, I, and I mean, I'm not sure whoever, any of my subscribers live in Massachusetts, we know, and I know that this is the most strict, or the strictest, if that's a word, it's the most strict, uh, you know, state with, as far as gun reg gun regulations that you can carry, right? You, you the, the, the reasons are just so strict where it almost makes it feel, uh, un, you know, in, unenjoyable to have a license to carry if you know you know your laws your gun laws um, if you do or don't either way it doesn't matter we're we're like limited to what can happen in Massachusetts now for example if you live in a more flexible state like Florida obviously there's more leeway to you know uh, what you can carry and how to obtain your license to carry and speaking of license uh, speaking of obtaining your license to carry make sure you go ahead and watch the video I did on that uh, it was a couple months ago um, I, I didn't go too far into details because obviously the details is again contingent on what state you live in um, But make sure you go ahead and watch the video right here by him. So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to just let you guys know um, And yeah, you know going on, on rides and stuff man. I just, I just enjoy the rides enjoying the trails, you know um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can record in the gun shop I know you know some people get a little iffy or a little weird when it comes to recording within gun shops but uh, you know, I might just buy some ammo just to make, make it not look weird. Uh, but I'm gonna definitely show you guys the inventory, and see, and show you guys, you know, what's uh, what's available. All right, so I'll see you guys there. Oh yeah, and uh, a question I got was, when you go into a gun shop, should you let them know, uh, you know, you have a firearm, or you know, should you feel weird? To be honest, guys, they know. Then you know, what I'm saying, you know what I mean? They they know. Um, it's just, I guess, it's, it's just a little weird because of. The whole dynamics of going somewhere where you know there's firearms available and, and quick access to anything um you know of course they're gonna be they're, they're, they're trained to go they're, you know they're they have their their uh antennas up every time but they're not gonna question you guys they're not gonna say hey you know let's put a minute let's put you through a metal detector or you know lift up your shirt and see let's see what you got you know they're not gonna they're not gonna do that um you know it, i don't know I, I love the gun community because everybody it, Everybody just understands, you know, kind of like how, how it is to own one, and you know, it, it's just it's something that we all have in common, and I think we all should just enjoy. You know, it, should, it shouldn't be taken as the wrong way. Kind of like, you know, if you're a car enthusiast uh, and you go to a dealership with a nice car, you know, are they gonna ask you, you know, hey, are you gonna buy a car today? You know what I mean? So I don't think that makes sense, but you know, no, they're not gonna question you. They're not gonna, you know, interrogate you. They're not gonna throw you into the race room and say, hey, why did you come here? With a gun at a gun store, are you gonna rob us? You know they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so hope that answers the question. All right, so I just arrived. This is Pete's Gun Store in Adams, Massachusetts. Uh, it's kind of definitely like an old school type of uh, vibe, I guess. So we're gonna see how it is inside. Very good. 
Yeah, but as long as I'm in your system right now, I'm gonna check out comfort tech though, and they make uh, an ankle holster. That might be something that's even present, but it's a nice knee if you want, it's not like a nylon, so it's kind of softer. Like I said, I got the one, but it's like, you know, just want to make sure you can. Actually, where I want to get it, I'm gonna put it. Perfect. Yeah, well, you get your right hand. Uh, because you put right it, grab it the left ankle. Yeah, so you don't get a right hand for right hand. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you always get a opposite hand of what you want. For some reason, I. For some reason, I. Look at this, it means. How you doing, Nick? Pretty good. I'm sorry, do you mind It's okay if I record? Mm -hmm. Or? What are you recording for? This is YouTube channel. No, I'd rather not. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and again, listen, man, I did the best I could. Why don't you go to a, your local gun, your gun store and don't even ask to record and just record and see how hard it is. And then let me know. I tried, man. I tried. Hey, right, so there you have it. Um, I, I, I tried to get as much as I could. Um, obviously, I had to ask because, like I said before, you know, a lot of people, they, they're okay with it. A lot of people are not okay with it, you know, uh, filming in their gun store. So, you know, got to respect it. But I did what I can. Um, <clears throat> so you've seen that there was um, a lot of pistols in there you know, they, they had a lot of shotguns but i kind of want to focus on pistols because of you know concealed carry obviously you can't conceal carry a shotgun i mean if you can't that's you, you know you, you have some good skills but <clears throat> that's why I, that's why i went right to the, the pistol uh, area before you know i even acknowledged if i could record or not and you've seen that there was a lot of um uh, smaller ones right now because of that reason and because of what's going on, you know, the whole apocalypse is going on. They want to focus on getting more, uh, you know, concealed carry, uh, smaller pistols as opposed to like, you know, uh, larger ones. Um, they had they had rifles, obviously. They had shotguns. They had, you know, the typical um, revolvers. Um, but you've seen, I've been in there, I, I believe, like twice before, and they used to have a ton of guns. But of course, again, what's going on? Everybody's just snagging them guns up like left and right. And I wish I showed you guys, but. A lot of their pistols, um, in, in, in the state of mass, you can't have more than 10 rounds in your pistol. And because of the state's, uh, you know, um, concern of, of gun laws, they require you, and it's very mandatory to have, you know, uh, it concealed. You can't do outside the waistband concealed, um, you can't do outside the waistband um, carry, it has to be concealed. Um, again, make sure you go watch the video I did on gun laws. Again, this is, I live in Mass. I don't know every gun law there is. If I did, then I would, I probably wouldn't even have this YouTube channel because, I mean, actually it would, but it would be a different channel, right? So anyways, the best answers you can get is not through YouTube channels. I mean, yes, you can, but it's, you have to do a lot of cherry picking. Um, either you can call your local police department and ask some questions, which I don't recommend doing that. Um, just because I think they'll be a little sketched out. Cause not everybody does that uh, go to go to your local to your, lo your local gun store um see if you can get you know some listings on on some questions that you might have or you no know, they're more than happy they people they just love talking about guns and gun laws and everything so make sure you go ahead and see your local gun store and ask all the questions you want um in my case i when i when i typically buy guns i what's called it's a, it's called a delay right what that means is when i whenever i go purchase a gun which i did and I, I didn't mean to do that, but I seen the gun that I liked and I had to get it because it's a new type of gun. I'll, but I'll show you guys that later in the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that, by the way, in my next video, uh, the review of the new gun that I got at the gun store. Um, as I was saying, so what I get when I purchase a new gun, it's called a delay. Now, what, the, what a delay is basically is, you know, I can't just walk out of the gun store the same day. Um, and it could do, it could be many reasons why. I'm not sure, they're not sure. Um, it's just, it all depends on, you know, the, the good old government and why I have delays, but it's not like, you know, I, I, I can't never get a gun. I just always have delays and typically it takes about, you know, three to four business days for me for them to call me and say, Hey, your gun's ready. Come pick it up, blah, blah, blah. And they're, you know, I'm on my way. They brought to my attention that, you know, because of what's going on, um, there is ways to, to, I guess, defeat the purpose of having a delay. Uh, because you know my my license is valid everything's valid everything is in good standing um they're just not sure why and i'm not sure why i have delays um it could be you know silly reasons i'm i'm not even sure but they did give me um a good uh some good information you know on, on how to 
bypass it and how to to never you know um i guess encounter that again so i guess i have to check up on this and you know like i said they're, they're more than happy to help you out um i never knew about this if i didn't ask you know how to bypass it they never would told me right so again the best answer to get is to your is through your goal, gun through your gun no i'm sorry through your local gun dealer i just seen that five times fast but yeah, you know, as long as you, as long as you're in good standing, as long as your your, um, your license to carry card is valid, it's up to date, um, you should be fine. You know, there shouldn't be any reasons why you should be having trouble. Um, but as far as you know, again, you know, you can't have more than. To me, that's just it's just it. I'm not okay with it. Obviously, I don't make any gun laws. If I did, we would have at least you know uh, a 15 mag, a 15 mag capacity limit. Um, I'm not sure. Why, I'm really not sure why we have a 10 round mag capacity limit, um, and that limits us because we are. If you think about it, we're kind of uh, we can get regular, you know, like the Smith and Wesson M&P. We can get you know, all that stuff, but I feel like because I don't, I'm limited to the ammo on that. Um, it doesn't obviously satisfy my needs to can still carry. So what the trade off is obviously getting a smaller gun, um, being that you know you can't have if. You know more than 10 rounds in your in, in your magazine which is, is stupid by the way but whatever obviously there's a lot of guns out there that you know that they are uh double stacked not single stacked and i would love to just have a double stack gun um and have more than 10 rounds in the magazine but i guess i would have to do it through uh maybe an extended magazine i'm not sure who knows um but you know i right now i'm currently carrying the ruger lc9 um, and I'll show you guys that right now. I'll just show you the mag. So this is kind of what we're working with right here, right? Seven rounds. Um, I don't blame. I, I obviously don't blame Mass for having for making this. Uh, I guess our limit. It's Ruger. You know, it's, they they made it um, because I believe in my my theory is this: gun companies know that there are limits to certain types of guns. So, um, and this is the weird. I feel like they they pay attention to certain states and they make certain type and they make certain guns for those certain states. That's my theory. Um, and you know they they're kind of they they're putting basically all their not eggs in one basket, but they're putting a lot of effort into making smaller size pistols for concealed carry um, in a compact carry because you know I don't believe it's because oh you know they want to uh, make it more concealable, which yes it's obvious it makes sense, but it, my thing is they want to limit it to certain states, right? Again, for example, you wouldn't be, ca I'm assuming you wouldn't be carrying a, a, a small ass pistol in the state of like Texas or maybe, you know, Florida. Maybe you know, if that's your preference, you know, fine, cool. But I would love to have, again, a 10 plus round magazine in my gun, but I can't do that. So the trade off is I have to get a smaller gun like the Ruger LC9. Um, if that makes sense, I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, if you if you kind of get where I'm going with this, I'm kind of pissed off that I live in Massachusetts. Is what I'm saying. So, uh, <laughs> and and one of the one of the biggest hesitations I have out, you know, moving outside of Mass is you know transferring all the gun, uh, all my guns to a different state. I did, I know for a fact that's gonna be a hassle because Mass again, Massachusetts is the worst state to deal with when it comes to gun laws. Everybody who lives in Mass knows about this. And in my opinion, I believe the Massachusetts is uh, one of the top three states with very strict gun laws. And I'm not gonna get into gun laws and being, you know, going into details in that. Um, that's for holding on the video. Obviously, yes, you know, I, I could move to a different state. Um, I don't know, but I kinda just, we'll, we'll see in the future, but for now, I'll just uh, keep complaining. In fact, here's one reason why I'm, it's kinda frustrating living in mass. And I know you don't, don't, you know, don't roast me in the comment section, okay? It's just because of you know, I didn't know if I knew all this stuff. Honestly, guys, I would not even live in Mass before getting my gun license. But I, I, I'm in too deep now, right? I got to, I have to, I have to suck it up. But I do, I did realize, I just discovered that I'm um, in the state of Mass, and this is how silly it can get. If you're at a grocery, if you're at a grocery store and you happen to reach up for the box of cereal, and somebody sees your your gun, can still carry and all that, right? Because somebody sees your gun and they report, they call the cops and say, hey. This person has a gun in the groceries in the grocery store located in XYZ Street. Um, 
the police will arrive and they will most likely have, you know, depending on how the person calls and what they say, they're going to come in, you know, a little hot. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying they're going to come in with the army or, you know, anything like that. I'm just saying they're going to come in. They're going to ask you, you know, questions. Um, I'm not sure they're going to have you put your hands up. I'm not sure. And, you know, they, they could take away your gun because of that. Right. They, they had the possibility to take away your gun because, uh, you know, a bystander was, was concerned and they felt threatened because, you know, they never encountered a concealed carry situation before, never seen a gun before. And this is their first time they get scared. Um, and because of, you know, how society is today with, you know, uh, mass shootings and, and, you know, everything that's negative and how people are just programmed to just react differently. Uh, but in the same concept, as far as, you know, being scared. Yeah. You know, they can take they can take away gun. I mean, if it's. They can do whatever they want, to be honest, is what I'm saying. And I don't know about your state, but I know Massachusetts, again, that's what can happen. Yay. So that's why I kind of got uh, the idea of getting a belly holster, because, you know, when you when I when I lift my arms and, you know, um, obviously your, 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 your gun shows, you know, if you have a holster and you reach up and, you know, your shirt goes up a little bit and you can see the gun. Um, obviously, with a belly holster, it's going to be a little difficult to conceal because, you know, summer is coming up and I have to, you know, kind of wear no jacket obviously or no sweatshirt um so i i gotta finagle that and see how how that's gonna play out anyways this is the end of the video uh like i said before in the beginning of the video i'm gonna do some shout outs um this this is just you know to show you guys my appreciation and um you know people just been subscribing um and you know i kind of I, re I realized that it's picking up a little bit so i kind of want to get things you know keep keep on going but uh so shout out to jpfl25 if that's right um I, I'm not I'm not I'm not good with spelling names by the way. So guys again don't roast me in the comment section. I'm doing my best. Love you guys. Uh Al mm, and Glenn Dangler uh and J J dot Potts. You guys thank you for subscribing. I will be giving you guys more content. Stay tuned. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So I could be giving you guys some cool gun videos and gun topics and gun reviews and all that stuff, gun range videos. Again, make sure you stay stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I will be re I will be revealing my gun that I got over there. Um, I, I couldn't help but get it, so you know, we'll see. So, anyways, this gun trails. I'm Jimmy sending out. Peace.